up until the day that I died. I suspected a certain unity between space and time, and consequently, a way to travel without moving. Ha! <laughs> I see we're awake. Maybe you recognize your own familiar face. Ah, uh, you're a good-looking man, Dr. Holbert. Now, <clears throat> before you say anything, I want you to know we had to take certain liberties with your, uh, as you were preserved in fragment. Welcome to Ackley Enterprise. Being the brilliant man that you are, I'm sure you have quite a lot to think about, and uh, now that's all you have to do. Uh, James, don't tug on this, it's your connection. Well, I'll just leave things to you then. Happy birthday, James. By this, I mean the prospect of spaceless travel, to fold space, pinching distances to nothing. Gentlemen, this project promises what others could not, and I promise you, the returns for an ounce of your foresight will yield a thousand-fold your investment. Think of it. Not even crease drive outruns instant arrival, the space industry at your mercy, and for so little a price, my project Mr. is... Mr. Ackley, we've heard all this before. A great promise from some of our greatest subsidiaries. And you, Ackley, hardly fit this class. Furthermore, I see no evidence that you are even equipped to handle a problem of this sort. Here, here. Now, Ackley, we've had scientific teams on this for years, Holbert's legacy. Now, I'm not adverse to enthusiasm, but this problem does not work out. Years of proof. Not only is this a dead end, but our report shows that you have already taken considerable liberty of our buffer fund. Mr. Edgar strikes a good point. Have you considered the alternative to this thousand-fold success of yours, particularly in light of your previous record with the company? Two research ethics infringements, gross over-expenditures, a citation for data mismatch, fraud. and general disregard for procedure. Now, do you have any words for yourself? <clears throat> this is the mind of James Holbert, cryonically frozen 40 years ago, and in the care of Pelton Labs until his daughter Elizabeth's death this year. This department has acquired it, and I assure you, Holbert himself is most enthused by the chance to finish his work. Now, if you'll just follow me,
They pulled the plug. The first touch of paint. Each one is first. Never closer to the end of it all. Time elapsed for a stationary object is equal to the product of the time measured in motion and the square root of one minus the quotient of the squares of velocity and of the speed of light. Time elapsed. The mass of the mountain divided by the force of gravity yields a reciprocal of its acceleration if the earth would contract into a source of velocity. Hawking radiation emitted at the event horizon of a contracted mass in direct proportion to the product of the event horizon surface area and the stuff on both from the continent multiplied by temperature raised to the fourth power. If all things meet at a point, this becomes you. There is here. Here is everywhere. We are already here, contracting to a point. Expand the, the, the here. The force of gravity is the least of all acceleration. If this would contract to a from where distance? Oh, close! So close! Calm down. There. He's so close already. We just need to push him. Sir, Mr. Ackley, the connection's already rather tenuous. I really Get out of my think... way. I'll do it myself. Sir, I, I really think James will, James will come to it on his own. James, I want to help you solve your problem. Just listen to the sound of my voice. Give us the equation. The full thing. Show us how. The product of the time measured in motion at the square root of one minus the square of the square root of one minus 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 the the force of the object of the event horizon surface area and the sun divided by the force of gravity yields a reciprocal of acceleration. If you are taking track, a force of What does this mean? Here, light as air. 